Cory Booker, our friend Cory Booker, yes, senator I from New him. Jersey, yes. he says not only you are a, a, a great host, but that you have a talk show everywhere you go. Mm. What he says that you're always up for a chat. What do you what do you, well, you know, attribute listen, that to? I, I think it's really ironic. That when I was a kid, I lived in Turkey. We didn't have television, but I was a voracious reader. So when I came to the states and discovered television, I was wow, so fascinated. As a kid, we used to have to watch the news. Walter Cronkite, my dad said. Sure, Walter Wonderful. Yeah, Walter Wonderful. You should know what's going on in the world. So I now talk about the news in the studio where Walter Cronkite delivered the news. That's amazing. It's a full circle moment for me. Wow. I, I think so. You know, my dad, my dad died when I was, he died when I was a freshman in college and he never got to see it. But I, I have a natural curiosity. When I was in fourth grade, the teacher said, dear Mr. and Mrs. King, Gail King is bright, but she tends to be, talk a lot in class and is disruptive. Mm -hmm. I brought it to her, her attention, now I'm bringing it to yours. And I lived in a house where if you got a note home from the teacher, you're in big trouble. So it's, it's ironic to me that I make my living talking. I really like people. <laughs> I like you, Stephen. I like you, too. I like you. Well, You've been on our show, you know. Uh, yeah, your show was great. You um, know. What, I... what do you like about Stephen CBS this morning? <laughs> What do I like about it? <laughs> no. I've been on all the morning shows. Uh -huh. Yours is the only one that does not seem like an insane circus. Yeah. yeah. They're all wonderful to be on, but the other ones kind of like they go, they, it feels like you're in like a, an industrial dryer that people have also thrown some fluorescent tubes in and closed the door <laughs> behind you. It just, it's, it's so hectic on the other shows. No. You guys feel like we're getting a calm dose of what the day is. Can you imagine Charlie Rose ever going crazy? I mean, just really losing it? The answer is no. I mean, you know, it's just all of us are really calm, curious people. We bring different things to the table. And it starts with having the circle of a table so there's a real conversation. Mm -hmm. And we give time for a conversation to breathe. I really enjoyed your uh, interview you did with the Obamas uh, oh, for the Super Bowl. Bowl. Yeah. Um, uh, talking about the presidency, when, when President Obama was uh, nominated eight years ago, there was a sense of the history of the moment. Yeah. Yeah. Now, um, you know, we are uh, rightly informed of the history of the moment for Mrs. Clinton being yes. nominated. Why do you think there's not the same feeling of the history of the moment as broadly? Well, because I think that when Barack Obama became the Democratic nominee, there really wasn't the word presumptive so much because it was really a done deal. Now you still have Bernie Sanders, even though it is a done deal. You know, when you look at the math, it would be very difficult for him to win. But he still thinks and is encouraging people to think that he does. And so it's not as clean as it was with Barack Obama. But really, when you think about it, as a woman person sitting here today, to have a woman as a Democratic presumptive nominee is a really big deal and something that should be celebrated. You know, regardless, regardless of how you feel about Hillary Clinton, yeah. regardless of whether you like Hillary Clinton or you don't like Hillary Clinton or you think she's polarizing, whatever you think about her, what she has accomplished is amazing. And I do celebrate that as a woman person. So, you know, we will get to the fact, you know, that the party is still a little fractured, so to speak. You know, the president spoke to Bernie Sanders today. So, you know, there is still some healing that needs to be done. But I think at the end, you will have a Republican candidate, we already have, and you will have a Democratic candidate, and the, we can all go to the polls and decide to the, who we're gonna vote for in November. I can't wait for it to be over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, Stephen. Don't you really think, though, seriously, it is a gift that keeps on giving. You never know what's going to happen in this election. I love that. Absolutely, absolutely. It's like, it's like herpes. There's no getting rid of it. <laughs> well, thank you so much for being here, Gail. Lovely to be in the day. No, oh, oh, okay. Sir, Purell? You want some Purell? There you go. CBS This Morning, 7 to 9 a.m. only. CBS. Dan King, everybody. We'll be right back.